Hey, Trent, this is Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com here. Um, you, you were able to get a lot of snaps on Saturday. Just just how, how good did it feel to get out there on the road and, and be a part of such a dominant performance by the defense? Uh, it was a great feeling. You know, we prepared all week. and um, I had a great week in practice. So when I went out there, I was really confident in the game plan. And um, I just, when I got out there, I just knew I had to execute and take care of my job. It was a great feeling. Hey, Trent, it's David Hood. Um, which linebacker spot are you seeing the most snaps in practice? You know, you, you the Will, you know, playing some Mike, playing some Sam. Where, where do you see the most snaps? Uh, right now I'm at Sam. Sam Nickel. What does playing the, that nickel Sam spot, uh, uh, you know, allow you to do because of your athleticism? And and do you like that particular spot, you know, being able to cover tight ends, being able to rush, you know, the quarterback, being able to attack the ball carrier? Do you, do you think that that really fits into your overall game? Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. Um, I love being able to just run around. Sam gives me a chance to just run around, like you said, use my athletic ability and uh, – just be able to cover sometimes and then come in the box, make a lot of tackles. I mean, I'm loving it. I just watch how they use Isaiah Simmons. And when I came here, I was like, it's great that I get to feel the same role he was in and learn how to do it like he did. What is maybe the toughest part about, you know, did you play any of this type, you know, in high school? I know you played a lot of running back. I know, you know, you played a lot of, of, of linebacker, but did you play this kind of position at all in high school at Mallard Creek? Uh, not as much. I did a little bit, but in high school, I was really just rushing off the edge every play and just finding the ball and going to get it. So, I mean, since I got here, I'm just learning how, like, what, like, learning defense, just learning defense and learning as many positions as I can right now. Trenton, uh, you recorded your, your first sack a couple of weeks ago. I think maybe it was a Virginia game. What, just, um, go take us back to that play. What do you, what do you recall about it? Uh, just, we went over it in film all week. Uh, we went, I repped it really good in practice. And uh, it was just one of those things I just reacted. Like when I seen him pull the ball, I said, I got to be there. That was my play to make. And I just made the play. And I mean, it was a great feeling. You know, I'm young and make him, make, made a play. So it was a great feeling. My teammates was excited for me. There's another Clemson linebacker named Dorian O'Daniel that now plays for the Chiefs that also played a lot of running back in high school. How do you feel like, you know, running – playing running back helps you play linebacker uh, or does it at all? It, it helps me a lot. I know now, like as a running back, when I see somebody approaching me or like how as a linebacker coming full speed, what moves. So normally I have an idea, okay, if I'm running to the outfield shoulder, they're going to try to cut under me, things like that. Like I just think as a running back, but as a linebacker, when I'm coming to tackle now, and I mean, it really helped me a lot to just be able to know like, if I see a linebacker approaching me a certain way, when I play running back, I would put a move on him or try to spin or chuck him, you know. So as a linebacker, now I'm using that to my ability. And just when I see the running back, I just think, like, what could they be thinking as I'm coming to tackle them? Trent, this is Matt with the state. Uh, can you take us back to the recruiting process and just what it was about Clemson that that you were willing to wait and try to see how everything worked out um, and, and come in here? Uh, that, this place has been everything I, I thought it was going to be. And this is the place I wanted to be. I knew this place fitted me, like my personality. I'm a very laid back person. This school is laid back. It fits me. And I mean, I knew the football part of Clemson was going to take care of everything. But when I'm here, I feel very comfortable. I never feel like I'm at the wrong place. I always feel like my personality fits here. And I love like the coaches and how they treat everybody. And it's just, a great place to be. Trenton, this is Grace Rayner from The Athletic. Just as a follow-up to that, because it did come down to the wire and you did have to be so patient, did you ever think that it was something that might not happen? Uh, I mean, yeah, I had a little bit of doubt, but I mean, I just kept praying. Me and my mom stayed positive, my family. You know, I mean, we, we had a feeling it was going to come together. I mean, it was times where I didn't know for sure, but I mean, just prayer and faith in God and everything took care of itself. I'm here. Trenton, it's Trevor again. What, what's it like playing for Coach Venables? I mean, he's not only your defensive coordinator, but also your position coach. Just uh, just how intimidating is, is he as a, as a freshman coming in? Uh, he, he's very, like, a very intense coach, and I had, I'm starting to adjust to it. But uh, just the way he coaches me, he coaches to perfection. And, I mean, that's all you can ask for as a player, somebody who wants you to be perfect. Like, you know, he don't settle for nothing but perfection. So I love that.
and I know that he just wants the best for me. So playing for him, it just motivates me. And I know, like, I just want to make him proud. And, and, and all those reps we make taking practice, like, when it's time to be in the game, you got to execute it because he wants it to be perfect every time. I see you're a sports like a Sam spot. Uh, you know, how often do you hear from Coach Venable's eyes, eyes, eyes? And, you know, because that never Sam, you've got to do so much that you can't – you have to maintain, you know, what you would say is gap integrity. How much do you hear about eyes from him? For, for a young player like me, he said that's, that's something that is very important for me because my eyes and my alignment and things like that, those are very important because your eyes, if your eyes are in the right place, you normally make a lot of plays because you can see things before it happened or you can read alignment and things. So yeah, that's very important for me right now, just working on my eyes, making sure I'm aligned right. And then when I'm out there, just playing fast and physical. Mike Jones had a play Saturday where he reads the back. He's got the back coming out of the backfield and he accelerated the back, catches the little swing pass and he tackles him. When you watch him play with that kind of, of a, you know, passion and abandonment, you, you know, do you watch that? And what can you take from his game? Oh yeah. Like, when he made that play, it's, it's funny because we talked about it before the game. Like, we worked that rep, that play so many times in practice. And, like, when we when he seen it, he reacted. And just seeing him play fast, it motivates me. And, it, it like, it, when he comes out and I go in, it know, like, I just can't be no drop-off. It can't be no drop-off. And that's just how we practice. And, like, that's like a big brother to me. So, to see him succeed and make tackles, it's always a great feeling to see him do his thing. Hey, Trenton, it's Anna with Clemson 24-7. Um, you really popped off the page on Saturday as a pass rusher. And I know that was kind of one of your your primary strengths um, coming into college. Just what do you think makes you so capable in that department? And, and then frame-wise, um, you think it's possible you could kind of grow into more of that edge rusher as you uh, continue your career? Uh, I think it's possible. I mean, that's a goal of mine. But I just want to be as versatile as there is if – in three years, my body fits that position, then I would love to do it. But, I mean, I feel like a great pass rush to come with just having an idea what the tackle is thinking. So if the tackle oversets, go underneath him. If he's a bigger guy, go around him, use my speed. Um, and since I got here, like, they've added a lot of tools to my, my tool belt to learning how to pass rush. Like, I know a lot more moves to use now. And uh, I'm just used to taking advantage of my speed and my power at the same time and just trying to put it all together. And hopefully I get more sacks as I – First passer. Frame wise, how much weight do you feel like you could put on? Uh, I feel like I could hold in three years, 245 and run really fast. Because right now I'm at 225, 230, and I feel very light on my feet. And I, and I know under Coach Bassin's strength training program uh, and the way I'm eating here, I'll, I'll definitely be able to hold it and keep my body very nice three years, I definitely believe that's possible. Any other questions for Trenton? Trenton, I see you're a sports communication major. Who's your favorite broadcaster in sports? Um, definitely Shaq. Uh, Shaq brings <laughs> energy. Yeah, Shaq brings a lot of energy to his job. And I love to see people like that. They love what they do. Like every time he, I see him on TV, he looks like he loved what he does. And, brings a lot of energy and I feel like myself if I get a chance to be on ESPN one day and be a commentator like I can bring that same energy and and have a little bit of knowledge behind what I'm talking about because I'm an experienced player 